Michelle Johnson, EWTN Global Catholic Network. Kevin, um, as the producer of the film, I understand that Andrea and David brought you this concept. Mm -hmm. What made you, and I'm sure a lot of people bring you concepts, what made you resonate with this one? Well, you know what, after Courageous and its amazing themes of fatherhood, uh, Dave White, who I've known for 20 years, has been a great friend, uh, he asked me, what are you doing next? And um, and I said, I'm not sure. And he's like, well, what do you want to do? And uh, I said, I'd really love to do a film that is about moms and about women and um, something for my wife. I want to do a movie for my wife that she'd really like. And um, he goes, really? He goes, I actually have this script called Mom's Night Out. I'm like, really? <laughs> and uh, and so I said, yeah, I'd love to read it. And so I read it that night. I fell, literally fell in love with it. I'm like, I, and I called him back. I said, you're going to think this is crazy, but I have to do this movie. And that was two years ago. And um, uh, just immediately, I mean, the Irwin brothers were the only ones I could think of to direct it because they've got young kids uh, my age. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really such a great film. It was such a wonderful journey to be able to create Mom's Night Out and just to sort of have this snapshot of parenting and this beautiful mess called parenting and to be able to celebrate moms and uh, the wonderful job that they do in raising us. Well, I was particularly impressed that the husband, Sean, um, was so supportive mm. of his wife when she was going through the crisis. Mm. I thought that was a very key thing that you don't normally see in films. Yeah, you know, and that came from Andrea Nasfell, who co-wrote the script. Um, you know, she really wanted to write the role of Sean around her own husband, and, and she's answered that question where it's like, we don't see that normally, no. um, where the guy is like that. And it was such a wonderful balance in Mom's Night Out, uh, you know, where you have the, the, the dads taking care of the kids and some fun things happen, but at the end of the day, he's really a supportive husband to his wife and encourages her and really values her uh, for what she does with their children, and it's one of the things I love about the film. Now, Kevin, I understand that you personally have adopted a child um, mm. from Haiti after yeah. the hurricane. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, what a blessing. Incredible uh, to be able to adopt a child, uh, something that I would have never imagined, you know, growing up, uh, that God would put me on a path to be able to adopt a child into my home. Uh, but my son Benicio, today is actually his birthday, he turned six today, Aww. and uh, it's, he's so precious, like he's such a great kid, I mean he's such, he's so artistic and he has such great thought and um, wants to learn and he has this just incredible sponge for a, a mind that wants to learn and he's, he's, he's he and Nathaniel, um, uh, my other son, you know, they're about a year apart but they're so opposites which is so great and wonderful. And um, it's really just a joy to be able to have Benicio in our home. What would you tell parents that are maybe thinking about it but are on the fence, you know, not quite sure? Yeah, you know, for me, pray about it. Um, my wife and I prayed through it. And, uh, you know, at first I wasn't necessarily, I didn't understand what adoption was. And, um, uh, but eventually God, you know, I believe God told me that, you know, you are called to take care of the orphans of the world and this is your part. And so I, I, it was a faith step for me to be able to go through the adoption process and of course our story uh, coupled with the Haiti earthquake, um, you know, he, he was rushed home 10 days after the quake, we were already in the process, was, was a bit dramatic and that's extraordinary, that's not obviously, you know, everyone's adoption story. Uh, but we were actually, for us, it was like a silver lining because he wasn't scheduled to come home for another nine or ten months. And all of a sudden, you know, this big earthquake and ten days later, our son, who was uh, 21 months at the time, this really fragile developmental age, is coming home into our arms. He's at the stage where he's just learning language. And uh, it was, we were blessed uh, through that unfortunate event and um, just love our son so much. You think you might do a, a film about adoption at some point? Uh, well, I, well, I did a film sort of about adoption, like Dandelion Dust, based on the Karen Kingsbury novel. And I think that story uh, really celebrates um, sacrificial love uh, as parents, what we do for our children and what we would do for them. And um, it's, it's what I love about the film. Uh, the film actually caused me to learn and understand more about adoption and what adoption is. And I'm so thankful for that. 
So do you think, it, it, I'm seeing a pattern here, uh, do you think that uh, your whole life seems to be about um, getting these messages out into the culture that mm. celebrate uh, family and, uh, well, family? Yeah, you know, I, uh, for Moms Night Out, I think that uh, moms are definitely undervalued in our culture and our society. And I'm, I'm so thrilled that we have a film that can celebrate the role of moms um, and to be able to just have a laugh out loud comedy that the whole family can enjoy. And uh, so many women go, that's my story, that's my story up on screen. And we have that in Moms Night Out coming in theaters. So. Do you think that the faith message, it's, it's, it's subtle, but it's there? And you know, it's there throughout. It's an undercurrent throughout the film. Um, also, it's, 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 it's subtle throughout the film, but there's a very poignant message throughout the film that's really very well designed. And uh, I've had so many people already, uh, the few people who have seen it, but last night we did our world premiere and just saying thank you so much for this message. It's well needed. It's well needed. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Oh, thanks so much. God bless you. God bless you.